organizations work from the top to the bottom. That means the intent starts at the top and then it trickles down to the bottom. So if the intent is not enlivened, it's not going to work. If then the people who are at the top in the managerial or supervising positions are not inspired by the, by the intent, the mission and the vision of the company, how are they going to transmit that to their employee, to the workers? They're not. It's not going to work. So this is, any organization, it's a, it's, a, it's a structure of power at the end of the day, isn't it? An organization, whether they're selling computers, telephones, or uh, feathers, it's a, it's, a, it's a structure that grounds power. It has an intent. We're going to sell feathers. It needs cells. Cells need to be um, activated by the intent so that they can fulfill their function so that the organization achieves its goal. So it's from the top to the bottom. There has to be an intent. The first person, Steve Jobs, is the one who receives an intent. He has a vision. Then he needs to work with a person, Steve Wozniak, that fucking geek who's as passionate about computers and the geek aspect, the technical aspect, as Steve Jobs is passionate about a vision. You need a person who wants to work as, with as much light as the person that, who holds the intent. And that has to trickle down to all the aspects of the organization. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So this is a, a business we can compare to a, a structure that tr transmit electricity. If you have one weak uh, cell, it creates a problem. Short circuiting or the light will burn and it blocks the current to continue so it's not so complicated, but businesses function, number one, there has to be an intent, which is expressed in a vision and a mission. And then the person who, who's holding that intent, mission and vision, has to have the strength to hold it, that they don't waver. It's one day it's on, one day it's off, one day it's on, one day it's off. Then they have to feel it's the, it's the right time to do it. Then they have to start surrounding themselves with people who want to do it, and who also share at their level of operation, the, the interest, the enthusiasm to express that intention and manifest it. If that person is not interested, it's not going to do it. If that person just wants to feel special, they're not going to do it. If that person doesn't have the, the resilience to work for years because they feel that th that work is an expression of themselves, they're not going to do it. It's not going to work. And it is from that culture that then we hire help or get more people to help. If, the, if that's not the atmosphere, then you're going to hire a random person who's just a farter. Right? It's not going to work. But if you're inspired, you know when you see a person inspired. You can see it in their eyes. And that person is inspired because they're inspired by your company. They're inspired by the culture. They're inspired by you. Especially in small, small companies where you're not known. They come, they, they're looking for a place to work. They see you. They're inspired. They're inspired by the quality of the product. They want to be part of that. And you can see it in their eyes. That person is interested to work. That person is interested to serve. That person is interested to learn. Great. So I'm going to invest some of my energy and attention on developing you so that you can develop the skill set, the craft of whatever your, your task is, and that you can now be a, a, a nodule in the grid of our organization. Yeah? Pretty straightforward. So it's much easier said than done, of course. Intention has to be sharp. Then your, the mission and the vision has to be like... If mission and vision is a concretization in the plan of what you're doing. It's no longer just... It's like, how are we going to do this? What are we doing? Why are we doing it? Where do we see ourselves in a few years? Where is this going? For what purpose? And then now we have to actually materialize it. So you need a, the people who materialize it. And for example, me, I'm not a materializer, not at all, <laughs> right? So I need a team of people who are able to take this vision, that understand it, that can feel it, more importantly. This is music as far as I'm concerned. They can feel it. They can feel what I'm painting as a picture. And they're like, okay, so they can encapsulate it, then they're going to translate this in a plan. And they're going to translate this in actionable items. It's a feeling that we want to transfer. 
You know what I mean?